previously on Fly With The Guy. I don't want to take any chances. Y'all know I am trying so hard to get perfect attendance. The last night I had watermelon tonight, this pineapple terminated me. It terminated you? <laughs> yeah. And now we need to do a real quick switcheroo. I've been trying to make my wallet fold all day. Cashing in my dreams, big payout. Underneath my money tree, big shade out. as a flight attendant based down in Miami, Florida for a U.S. carrier and I share glimpses of the flight attendant life. As a reminder, all views and opinions expressed in the video are my own and do not represent my employer or any affiliates. So I'm getting ready to head on a two-day trip, you all. I just got ready. I have a, I guess we could call it an afternoon signing because it's almost at noon. So I'm about to hit the road. I have about 40 minutes before I need to be signed in. I just came off of my Mexico trip last night. Like all the laundry is still in the floor from that trip, but I was over it last night. And all I had time to really do is go to the store and grocery shop. And you all saw me put my food together this morning. Um, and I waited till this morning to pack as well. So yeah, I am pushing it. But nonetheless, we are ready. Let's go to the airport and I'll tell you more about this trip. All right, so made it to work, y'all. It was so hard trying to find a parking spot. Like, I don't know what's going on if one part of the parking lot garage is blocked. Not this person pulling off right here by the door. Ugh. This trip that I'm working is a 3-1, so I have three legs today. I'll lay over in Cleveland, and then I have one leg home tomorrow for a go home day. I think I'm working in a cabin on this trip, so I have a little less responsibilities which is good because I'm literally just coming off of a non-rev trip yesterday and I don't feel like doing all that. But let's go to work. <laughs> Alright so we are on the ground in Cleveland. Quick flight. It's uh, right back there. And what was it? Row 17? On the ground in Cleveland. Have a deep easy flight. One crew member switching off, another one's coming on, and we are about to head down to, I don't know, wherever we go next. But I did eat lunch, but I was starving, like, and now I'm good. All right, we are in Sarasota, back in Florida. Not Southern Florida like I thought. It's on the east coast of Florida. Deep plane, and it's time to go back. One more flight, y'all, to this duty day. One more. All right, so we have made it to Cleveland a lot later than expected, but it happens. Um, it was out of our control. Um, however, I just stopped off down in the crew lounge to heat up my food because there's no microwave in the room. I see no point in going all the way upstairs to get my food, come all the way back downstairs to go all the way back upstairs. Especially since we have a 9 a.m. van and that's gonna have to have me putting up. I'm gonna have to get up super early because I have to tutor in the morning before that van. So yeah, I'm getting my food down so I can go upstairs and I can take a shower and crash because well, actually I'll go ahead and get ready, get everything lined up for tomorrow because it's gonna be a fast morning. A very, very fast one.
I have. <sighs> Taking care of me by going to take a shower. And the last thing I want to do is eat. So I made two servings of this chicken, rice, and vegetables. And I ate one of them on the flight because this was basically like a 12 hour duty day. So I had lunch and first dinner, and now I'm having second dinner. <laughs> um, but yeah, it was a long day, you all. And I was working up front and it was only three flights, which might seem like, oh, that's just a little bit for you all. And they were quick flights. They were all, you know, less than two and a half hours. But, like, they were all full. So, if you can imagine, like, going through the process of, like, boarding three times. And I'm talking, like, at this point, you're, like, 400. Uh, we probably served as close to 500 passengers today. 500 people saying hello, receiving energies if you're into that kind of thing, like saying goodbye. Like there was a lot of, it's a lot of work. Our rest has now been reduced to just like right under, right above like 10 hours because we got in so late. Let me see if it's updated. Oh, look, now we're down. Nine hours and 50 minutes. So, yeah, about that. <laughs> I don't like that. But anyway, I'm about to go ahead and eat. And after eat, I can brush my teeth and go straight to bed. I did my lesson plans for tutoring on the flight. Multitasking at its finest. Um, so I'll <laughs> basically tutor up until 15 minutes before I need to be downstairs to catch the shuttle. So uh, my plan is to get up around 7 in the morning. And I will go ahead and, you know, take a shower, get dressed, and be at the camera when I get a clock to tutor. We will be on our way, and we only have one flight home tomorrow. I was trying to pick up a turn since I got back in so early, but nobody had anything they were trying to give me. And there wasn't anything at open time. And now I'm kind of thinking, like, okay, that's a good thing, because I have so much I need to catch up on. I haven't even done edited the video that was supposed to go out on Sunday. Today is Monday. Well, actually it's after midnight, so now it's Tuesday. Sunday's video isn't even edited, and by Tuesday I'm typically starting on Thursday's video, so I'm behind. I'm behind, and so <laughs> a lot of content to push out to you all. Yeah, I don't know when you're gonna get it, but I'll catch up eventually, I have, because I start big trip coming up soon, and it's a lot going on, y'all. I'm about to eat and go to bed. Good night. Good morning, y'all. So I'm up and I'm about to tutor. I'm half dressed. I literally have packed everything up. Sort of. And I just gotta put my shirt and towel on. I just didn't feel like sitting here for the next hour with that um on. And uh, I did not go to bed right away. Um, but as soon as I decided to go to bed, <laughs> my phone rang and it was the crew scheduling ringtone that haunts my life to this day from all those months of being on reserve. And they were calling because like I told you all, our rest had dropped below 10 hours. So they were calling me like, hey, we need to extend your rest. And so this is gonna be your new report time. So it was a little bit 10 minute job because <laughs> Contractually, it needs to be 10 minutes minimum, and we were at 9.50. So they were like, okay, you don't have to show up at, what was it? You don't have to show up at 9.30. You need to report at 9.40, which doesn't help us because the hotel shuttle only runs um, every 30 minutes. So it's we're, we're already taking the 9 o'clock shuttle. The 9.30 shuttle will put us there too late, so we still have to catch the 9 o'clock shuttle. So... I mean, it gives us a little bit more time in the airport and getting to the plane and doing pre-flights, but yeah, that was that. I am about to start tutoring. I need to pull up Zoom while I'm sitting here talking to y'all. It'll be late. Um, and I'm gonna drink my little breakfast smoothie and probably this banana while I tutor the combination of these for breakfast. Um, 
I tried to drink that green one yesterday. It was a no for me. I think it had like it had like romaine in it and I wasn't expecting romaine. I didn't quite I wasn't quite sure what the romaine was supposed to taste like, but I didn't like what it was given. So yeah, that had to go. I'm gonna stick to this one. I know I like the peach one and there were some other ones I saw when I was in the store. I'm gonna try those. Because I kinda like these, you know. It's a cute little meal replacement. Um especially on the road. It's just, as long as I can keep them cold. And then I tried to pick up a turn today, but that was not successful. So I have all of these snacks left over because I was like, oh, I'm gonna have enough, you know. I might work three flights today. Never got a turn. So I just have this one flight this morning um, from Cleveland back to Miami and I'll be done. Which I'm kind of happy about because I wanna go to sleep and not worry about what time I wake up. Okay, so I'm about to drink. Remember, we're talking about these ambiguous vowels and these vowels that don't quite say their regular vowel sound. Sha. Sa. So that's not a or a, that's a. What's making it say a? Ah. The double U in the U. Oh. Room's all clear. Time to go. <laughs> <laughs> all right so we are back and this two-day trip is over you all i'm trying to remember where i parked because it was not in my normal spot or my secondary spot because i found out that the other parking garage is shut down which is why it's been flooded with vehicles on this side but nice easy flight back such an amazing crew, but definitely working on minimal rest. Ah, vlog title right there. Um, anyway, <laughs> my friends just landed at one two and they were talking about going to the beach. Oh, I don't know. I'm not sure quite what I really want to do. Um, but thanks for watching this quick two day vlog. I'm Brandon. I'm a guy who flies. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button so you can come back and see what I have going on. And I will see y'all in like three days when I come back to work and start another trip. Later. It goes by.